Hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we're going to check out the concept of auto scaling with Cloudways. Cloudways offers a service called Cloudways Autonomous, which is a managed cloud hosting solution that provides automated server management and optimization for WordPress and WooCommerce. Cloudways has kindly sponsored this video and asked me to conduct a performance test, which was quite interesting. And I will share the results with you shortly. In essence, this is an auto scaling service that rapidly allocates server resources to manage traffic surges, keeping websites responsive during peak periods while cutting costs when extra capacity is not needed. This makes it ideal for e-commerce websites, events or booking websites, learning management systems, large media sites and blogs. Pretty much anything that you can expect big spikes in traffic. And this tech is great for small businesses because auto scaling has been tough due to the complexity and cost of container technology. This basically solves a problem for small businesses where auto scaling is available for everybody. With a few clicks, you can basically create a server that is built in and it just works. Just to show you how easy it is to get started and what the plans are like, let's create a quick WordPress application. So I'm here under the Cloudways dashboard and we need to go here under autonomous apps and click get started. From here, if we scroll down to the bottom, Bottom, you will see that plans start as low as $35 per month and we need to click choose plan. If we click on compare all plans, you will see that all the plans have exactly the same features, but the only difference is the bandwidth, the visits, the displays, and the applications that you can host depending on which plan you choose. And obviously the price is different as well. Let's select plan one and then confirm plan. Let's name our application. I'm going to call mine Ruddy region for me is going to be London because this is the closest one to me and I'm going to go with WordPress and then add application. Okay, this says that my application will be ready in three minutes. So I'm going to speed up the video and come back once this is ready. From here, they give you the option to migrate your application to Cloudways, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go, I'll do that later. And I'm just going to use the WordPress website that they've created to check it out. So if I click on the link that they've provided, I can click on it and here we are. We have a fully working WordPress website, which is pretty cool. Let me close it. If you scroll down, you can see some of your resources here, the bandwidth, this breakdown, your database usage, which is cool. And under performance, you will see that you have your object cache pro enabled and the full page caching is done through the Cloudflare CDM, which is great. You can always purge the cache from here. And for the workflow and tools, you get your backups and restore. You can change your PHP settings. Let's have a look at what they have. So you can go from PHP 7.4 to all the way up to PHP 8.2. And you can change your other PHP settings, which is quite handy. And they have a staging management from here and intelligent, which is going to give you some logs, which is always helpful. Okay, now that I have the website running, I've made a, a little spike test using K6. If you're familiar with this library, essentially I can send traffic to the website and see how it behaves. Now, this is not going to be super scientific because we only have the default WordPress installation, but it will be interesting to see what happens. And I'm not sure whether I'm being too generous here. Maybe I can ramp up the numbers, but let's have a look at this first. We're going to ramp up the numbers for 10 seconds to 100 users. Then we're going to do one minute of 100 users. Then we're going to do 10 seconds of 1000 users, three minutes of 1000 users, 10 seconds of 100 users, three minutes of 100 users, and 10 seconds going down to zero. And it's going to be interesting to see what we get at the end. I'm probably going to speed up the video here because it might take a while. I need to swap the URL here super quickly. I'm going to grab it. Let's test it one more time. Yep, it's all working. So I'm going to grab the URL, put it in here and let's test it out. So let's open the PowerShell here and let's do K6 run website dash test dot JS and see what happens.
Okay, we have the final results here and now I'm going to go over them and explain what they mean. And for this, I'm actually going to be using a little bit of ChatGPT to kind of like summarize this for me. The first key metric that we need to look at is the success rate. So 99% of the requests returned a status code of 200, which is a successful response. This means that 300 out of 49,843 requests failed. 99.39% of checks passed. While 99 success rate is generally good, it depends on your specific requirement. In high stakes environments like financial services, even a 1% of failure rate might be concerning. For the data transfer, we have data received of 4.3 gigabytes at 9.3 megabytes per second. The data sent was 14 megabytes at 30 kilobytes per second. Here, the data transfer rates seem reasonable, but this depends on the nature of your application. High data transfer rates and low failure rates are a good sign. HTTP request duration. Average duration was 3.27 seconds. This is the time taken for a request to complete. Median duration was 1.39 seconds and the 19th percentile was 7.8 eight two seconds. This is 90% of the request completed within this time. The 95 percentile was 10.87 seconds. Here the average percentile duration indicates that most requests are taking a significant amount of time to complete. Ideally you want a medium duration to be under one second for responsive web application. The high 90s and the 95th percentiles indicate that substantial portion of requests were taken much longer than expected. Failed requests. 0.60% failed. This is relatively low, but in combination with the duration metrics, it suggests some instability or performance bottlenecks under load. Request waiting time. Average waiting time was 363.21 milliseconds. Median waiting time was 143.98 milliseconds. P90 and P95 waiting times were 689.9 milliseconds and 1.35 seconds respectively. The waiting time here seems reasonable, indicating that the server is handling requests quickly and once they are received. Virtual users. The test ran with 1000 virtual users at its peak. This suggests a high concurrency level, which is good for stress testing. Total interactions. We have 49,000 840 interactions were completed in 7 minutes and 40.7 seconds with 7 interrupted interactions. The interruptions are minimal and might be neglectable depending on your context. To summarize this and put it into strengths and weaknesses, for the strengths we can say that we have a high success rate of 99%, high data transfer rate and reasonable waiting time for most requests. The weaknesses that I noticed are relatively high request durations, the average request duration of 3.27 seconds on the higher side with the 19th percentile at 7.2 seconds and the 95th percentile at 10.87 seconds, which might lead to poor user experience. The other weakness was the 300 failed requests. While this is a small percentage, it indicates potentially instability under load. To conclude this test, most metrics are acceptable considering the website was under a heavy Load. One thing that I would say is not to rely on hosting platforms to serve slow websites. Always optimize your website database to improve response times and reduce failures. But this solution seems fairly decent. The website continue working, which is great. And if you're wondering what's behind the scenes, what makes Cloudways autonomous work, well, under the hood, we're getting the synergy of unlimited PHP workers, Cloudflare, which I always use on my websites, and Object Cache Pro. Also includes the most popular security features like the standard SSL, uh, WAF, and DDoS protection. And also you get your daily backups and staging as when you need to. And I wanted to share one more performance benchmark result with you done by a website called coder.io. The performance benchmark was around add to cart event per second and successful checkout per second between Cloudways, Kinster and WP Engine. Cloudways has the best result with the 100 concurrency tests. Also, it did fairly well compared to the other two with 200 concurrency tests and Cloudways Autonomous emerged as a robust performer across various concurrency levels, showcasing reliability and speed. For the conclusion here, as you can see, the benchmark highlighted the strengths and limitations of Cloudways 
Kinster and WP Engine in managing e-commerce workloads. So if you wish to make a more informed decision, you can go to the raw data that they have collected in this spreadsheet here, have a look around and see what you like best. But I do have to say that they're all great platforms. As you can see here, the results are a little bit mixed between them. So yeah, it's, it's good to have a little bit of competition. And to finish this video, Cloudways are great when it comes to support and you can open a help desk ticket or use the 24 seven live chat whenever you like. Even though that this video is sponsored by Cloudways, I try to be as transparent as I can. Let me know what you think of their auto scaling service and if you're planning to use it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.